what it is YouTube this is EDG car view back again with another video and today uh, I am gonna be well y'all can see the title on the thumbnail that the thumbnail even shows it but um, yeah just telling y'all what the gas mileage is like on my IS 250 you know just thought somebody might want to know uh, how gas on these are I know it's a v6 and uh, usually with v6 cars people expect the gas mileage to be a little bit better but uh, you know, kind of give you a different perspective, especially comparing it to, to the other two cars that I had previously, both the Firebird and the ES300. Um, just telling you what the gas mileage is currently and uh, the gas mileage that I had in the, both the other cars before. But for the most part, at least for this with this IS250, um, this car actually drinks a lot of gas. Like for real, in real life, for a V6, this. Like I've had three cars, right? I've had the Firebird, I've had the ES300, and I have the IS250. And since I've had it, like compared to all three cars, the Firebird was great on gas mileage. The ES300 was perfect on gas mileage. The ES300 was really better on gas mileage than the Firebird. Um, it took probably over like a little, a little bit over 30 30 dollars to fill up. Um, you know. Give or take, probably took about both cars really. Both the ES300 and the Firebird took about a, you know a little over thirty dollars. Probably about thirty. You know, if it was empty, empty, it probably took about close to somewhere about thirty four, thirty five dollars to fill up. But I ain't gonna front this IS. Like if it's compl completely empty, like I'm about to run out of gas, the gas light is on, and everything, it is drink the, the full forty dollars, depending on where I go too. So uh, I get a lot of my gas from OnQ. Uh, OnQ also being a uh, fill up sixty six. So, um, with, <clears throat> with OnQ, the, the gas, the gas at OnQ is pretty high. Uh, I get that gas because it's good gas. They, 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 you know, I mean, when I first started going to OnQ to get gas, um, with my Firebird anyway, I noticed the, the uh, dramatic change compared to going to OnQ and 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, I had cool gas, but like, I could like, with, with uh, on Q, I didn't have to always get the best gas. I still don't always have to get the best gas because that gas, like every level, is just like so. Uh, it's just like you know up to par. Whereas 7-Eleven gas, you know, I could definitely tell the difference in, ter in terms of how my car would run. But nonetheless, you no, know, just going off, you know, the on Q numbers. I don't even remember how much I probably spent at 7-Eleven. I know it was definitely a lot less. But with the on Q number, damn, I'm damn, I'm damn, I'm about to do 80, bro. See, that's the thing with these luxury cars, bro. Like, the problem with these luxury cars, and when you drive a luxury car, a lot of times what ended up happening, happening is, is that, like, you'll be driving, but you won't feel it, like, pick up in speed. Like, you'll just be driving, and, like, you'll be damn near about to hit 90, 90 miles an hour. And so, it, it'll kind of catch you off guard. I've got, you know, pulled over a couple times because of that. They actually got a couple of tickets. Well, not a couple, but, like, one ticket because of that. And I, I just, I just, you know, kind of lose track of how fast your car is actually going um, but back to the main point about the gas mileage this car for, for a v6 it, it drinks a lot of gas it drinks it drinks like you know like i said if it's on e and like it's about to run out of gas it drink about 40 dollars worth of gas which, which isn't a lot it's not a lot lot but for this car to be a smaller lexus it's a smaller car because it's a more sportier car but for some reason it still drinks a lot of gas for a v6 which is weird to me uh and it, i kind of it's kind of hard for me to fathom and understand but right now it's saying i'm getting about 23.7 miles to the gallon which isn't bad that's actually really good but i know I've, I've heard of other cars and really other lexuses like i said my es300 was the es300 was an older car but even now even newer lexuses that do better in gas mileage like I said, this one does great gas mileage, really. Like, just in terms of just for a V6, you know. Like I said, it drinks it drinks a lot of gas for a V6, but at the same time, it's like, I see how much V8 drink, so it's still like you're still saving money compared to you trying to go get, you know, uh, an ISF or something. Which, don't get me wrong, I'll still, if I could, I'll still go get an ISF just because how cool the car is and, you know, all the, you know, things that come with having an ISF or a GSF or RCF or uh, any of those F Sport model cars, even though they, they, you know, I'm pretty sure they drink a lot more gas, um, it'd be worth it just for what you would get in that package deal. 
Uh, but like I said, for V6, like I said, this one gets about, it's telling me right here, it gets, I get about 22.7 miles to the gallon. Um, and you know, that's my, that's my, this is my opinion anyway, and my take on what the gas mileage is like. This is ZDG Car Views, man. Um, if you haven't, make sure you check out all my other videos about my IS. Uh, plan on doing, you know, a lot of, I plan on having this car for a while and doing a lot of stuff to this car for real. Even if I get something else, I, I'm, I still plan on keeping this. Uh, but like I said, my next video will probably be talking about the payments. Right now I'm on my way somewhere, so uh, can't really talk about it too much. But like I said, this is ZDG Car Views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man, and I'm gone. 16 saved messages. Just like the rest of them. <laughs> so there you are.